Now, I have a really easy and simple exercise. It's very similar to another one that I showed earlier. Um, for This one is actually for, again, lower back pain and tightness or pain in the hips or imbalance in the hips. So if you've got some kind of higher hip or structural imbalance, perhaps if you're a runner or a cyclist um, or a triathlete, you're experiencing some pain um, in your low back or in your trunk because of an imbalance in your hips, this is a great one. And often uh, when there's an imbalance in the hips, one hip when you're walking will swing well and the other one won't. So this is another good one for getting the hips to swing more symmetrically relative to one another. First thing you're going to need is a yoga brick. Um, I'm currently using a foam one. Wood is actually the best alternative, but I don't have one of these in my office, so I use a hard foam brick. Um, and it's good enough to give strong enough feedback so that um, I can get the changes that I want quickly. So that's critical. When you think of a brick, if it's hard, it seems like, oh, that's going to hurt. Well, the hurt is actually giving you feedback that you can act on. So you're trying to train your body, retrain your body with these exercises. So, Okay, so the first step is to step wide, step very wide. And I'm going to do this from the front, then I'll show you from the side. I'm going to grasp the brick between my legs. Okay, so I have a hand underneath and a hand in front. And I'm going to bring this all the way up. One of my clients called this riding the saddle. Okay, mounting the saddle, whatever. Now, the brick is going to, you want to stick out a little bit in front because when you bring your legs together, it's going to push the brick back. You don't want it to slide back. You want to bring it forward. Now, if you have really large thighs or you're short, you might need to turn the brick this way. But I would try this way first because it's going to be more effective. If you absolutely can't fit this way, do it this way. If you've stepped as wide as you can possibly step and it still won't fit this way, then do it this way. So you can see, I really want you to use the width of this because it's helping to get your hips to release. So you bring it all the way up, all the way up, and then step your feet about hip width distance apart. And you should feel a little bit of discomfort actually in the inner thigh area because this brick, as you step together, will start to really press in on those muscles and start to activate them. Um, very straightforward and simple. Parallel inner feet. If you have a wooden floor, the floorboards are great. It's great to align your feet with the floorboards so you can really get a sense for uh, your inner feet being parallel, as parallel as possible. Hands on your hips, uh, elbows back. Now, if you put your hands on your hips with your elbows back and your, it causes your low back to really push forward, try and drop your buttock and put your weight onto your heels a little more to get your back to relax, get your low back to relax a bit. For most people, this isn't a problem, but for some people, who have more of a lumbar curve, uh, it, is, it can be a problem sometimes. So just do your best. And if that still won't work and you're still feeling really uncomfortable and strained in this position in your back, then let your, maybe let your elbows come a little bit wider. But that's kind of a last resort. Okay, then with your weight evenly distributed across the soles of your relaxed feet, you're going to just do a quick bend of the hips and the knees. And notice, I'm bending, but I'm bending fairly symmetrically. So. If there's a rotation in my pelvis, I may want to bend like this, but the brick really helps me to see that this is the way to bend. It's the beauty of the brick. Then I come up, and I'm going to squeeze the brick as hard as I can with my inner thighs. Now, I'm going to get put my awareness into my pelvic floor, and if my buttock is really gripping and tight, I want that to release. So I'm going to let it release. That allows me to spread across the back of the pelvis. So my legs will start to rotate in just slightly, like this way. So the femurs rotate in this direction. And the heels tend to push into the ground a little, floor, a little more. So squish, 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 and then I'm going to release, do a movement, squish, 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 release, and do a movement, squish, 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 release, and do a movement. And then step apart, pull the brick out. I generally recommend trying this three times, so one set of three, if you pay attention and you actually do it mindfully, it'll generally be effective in three. Uh, you generally don't have to do more than that. Anyway, great for low back and hip tightness, hip pain, and sometimes even knee pain. Have fun with it.